They got us trapped in here like animals. Let's just do what we have to do to get out of here. I run this compound. We must follow the rules of the hype. You don't think this is paradise? I need to get these people safe. <gasps> we have one small issue. She's plotting to kill the hype. <laughs> Of the chaos. When the sun go down, you just saw the trailer for season 2B coming to BET Plus this Thanksgiving, November 25th. I believe we'll be getting three episodes on the 25th, and you know, uh, I believe the season itself is like 22 episodes long. But to be honest, I don't have all too much to quote unquote break down since I want to say. A good portion of this promo slash trailer consisted of scenes from the first half of the trailer. So before getting into it, uh, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Also, take a moment to hit subscribe as we get closer to 190,000 subscribers. Yes, we have far more people subscribed to this channel than the Rackadoo She Has members. <laughs> Also, hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And yeah, those are the bases. Go ahead and give me a home run. That was corny. Let's get into it. So yeah, the first scene is Lacey basically saying, they got us trapped in here like animals. And you know, of course, she's saying that to uh, Zane and Paula. You got Ruth saying, let's just do what we have to do. To get out of here I believe she's in the kitchen talking with Tally um, there was another scene you know they try to make it look intense not saying it wasn't uh, but you remember when Ruth snuck out of her trailer to meet the icon and then she saw all the dead bodies from the people who tried to escape that the highest killed and then she was kind of shook by it but then acted like you know she was fine and then Daikon and Ruth caught um, is it Melinda or Melissa snooping on them and then Daikon chases her down and tells Daikon I mean tells Ruth to go back to a trailer and then it's revealed that I'm working for the elder mother she told me to follow Ruth and then Daikon finds out she has a phone then drags her to the elder mother and then they have their back and forth you know Daikon's like I run this compound and then he screams in frustration and the elder mother chuckles you know at the good news about uh, you know Melinda doing well with uh, poke at the police station so yeah there's a scene I want to jump to real quick um, where Andrew's talking to Daikon saying she's plotting to kill the highest but the scene cuts to elder mother chuckling so is Andrew talking about elder mother I don't know but Daikon is telling the highest we have one small issue and this is when the highest is actually sitting uh, in his trailer meditating meditating which is interesting because the highest towards the end of the promo says I love the chaos so um, another scene that looks like it's a recycle from the first part of the season Yancey grabbing Tally through the window um, the elder mother is telling Ruth we must follow the rules of the highest okay so there's a scene where the highest is talking to someone I don't know who it is but he says you don't think this is paradise that's what it sounded like he said you don't think this is paradise but the caption says you don't think this is evidence so I'm thinking like was that addressed to Andrew I don't know because then we go over to um, what the caption during the promo says even the highest can fall which obviously isn't going to happen given the events of the Oval pretty much confirmed that the Highest is still alive. So the last two scenes, I'm, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through the promo, but like I said, most of the scenes were rinse, recycled, and repeated from the first part of season two. But the most interesting part to me, we see Lacey, Paula, and I believe the elder mother of their trailer. I think it's the yellow trailer. I forgot the what color trailer it was I think the red trailer was the trailer that had the people who escaped but then got caught and killed and that that elder mother was sent to the punishment trailer due to you know people getting out and then that's why um when Lacey you know and Paula get dressed to go to the bathroom aka get in Lilo's car and drive out 
it's locked and then their elder mother is like look no 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 the windows and doors are locked at night to keep everybody in because the elder mother from the other trailer got punished i ain't going to be punished so given that we only see lacy and paula in the trailer with the elder mother i'm wondering if zane or tally got away escaped and as a result everybody left in the trailer got punished because if i'm not mistaken um the elder mother not the main elder mother but the other elder mother who's had a big role in season two she's like the head of the trailer and tally and joan are like bunk buddies and then at another part of the trailer you got lacy paula and zane so i'm wondering if zane tally and joan take lilo's car and get away and then Lacey, Paula, and the elder mother are left to be punished as a result of that. Because you see Lacey, like, trying to choke the elder mother, so she's obviously pissed off. And remember, you know, Zane was the one that's like, no, I'm scared. I don't want to escape because we might get caught. She knows about the car keys. Who's to say Joan and or Tally don't overhear and decide, you know what, bump this. Because you know Joan is shook because the guy, the people who escape, you know, that left her shook up. And River is like the one who's trying to keep her cool. So tally joan and zane possibly escaping could be the situation that leads to tally escaping the compound and going over to the oval because there is the one scene where andrew has his head in his uh, hands because it looks like he's depressed probably because tally's gone i don't know i'm just saying i mean i'm willing to think that yancey might have something to do with her being you know, trying to escape the compound because Tally just had enough of his threats and, you know, approaching her late at night. So it's possible that she decides to leave because of him. Who knows? But either way, I'm intrigued. But regardless, uh, that's really all I have to say about the promo for Season 2B of Ruthless coming on November 25th to BET+. Plus. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Was there anything I missed from the promo you want me to talk about? I might do a follow-up video this week or before the episodes air pretty much stating okay here's everything we learned about what's going on with the rakadushi in season three of or basically season two of the oval and where season two of ruthless or what it needs to explain to kind of line up with where we're at at the oval basically what my thoughts are are on the second part of ruthless season two and what gaps they need to fill in for the story to make sense that's kind of what i'm saying but as always uh, make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash app